Okay, welcome back. Operations on radicals, lesson four, dividing radicals, part two. And I alluded to this already uh, yesterday or last class, we were looking at rationalizing the denominator of radicals when the denominator had a radical that was a monomial. And in order to rationalize that, we would multiply by that radical over that radical. Now this is essentially one, so we're not really changing the question at all. We're just changing what it looks like. Okay? And then when we multiply that out, we would get square root two over square root of four, and the square root of four is two. So the radical in the denominator disappears. And that day I also did preface, I did take us into lesson four and have a quick look. When we have a binomial in the denominator, we have to rationalize the denominator. We rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate of that binomial, right? And we've already talked about what a conjugate is. So the conjugate of square root five minus square root three is going to be square root five plus square root three, but we're rationalizing. So we're gonna rationalize, we're gonna multiply the top also by square root five plus square root three. Okay, from here, we just follow our binomial distribution laws. So here we're gonna multiply this two, we're gonna two times this, two times this. And in the denominator, we're gonna use our FOIL, first, outside, inside, last, and we're gonna see what happens to all of our numbers and stuff, okay? So let's do that step by step. Two times square root five is two square root five. Two times square root three, is two plus two square root three. All over square root five times square root five is square root 25. Square root five times square root three is square root 15. Minus square root three times square root five is minus square root 15. And minus root three times plus root three is minus square root nine. Now in the numerator, nothing happens. So this is two square root five minus two square root three. But in our denominator, fix that, that was a little messy there. In our denominator, that didn't look any better. There we go. In our denominator, square root 25 is five, plus root 15 minus root 15 cancel, they disappear. And square root of nine is three, minus three. So this works out to two square root five, minus two square root three, all over five minus three is two. And look, you can see that all three of these coefficients will divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. So those twos are all gonna cancel, boom, 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 which is just gonna leave me square root five minus square root three. If you can read that, of course. And that's it. Easier said than done, right? Let's look at B. <coughs> square root six minus two divided by the square root of six plus two. We do the conjugate of the denominator, which is gonna be square root six minus two and the same on the top. And then of course we do our FOIL. First outside, inside, last. First outside, inside, last. Right? So square root of six times square root of six is square root 36. This is on the top. Minus two square root six, minus two square root six, plus four. All over square root 36, minus two root six, plus two root six, minus four. Okay. Now with the red pen, here we go. Square root of 36 on the top, that's gonna to be six. Minus two root six. Minus two root six minus another two root six, that's minus four root six. And then plus four. Plus four. All over. Square root of 36 is six, minus two root six plus two root six is gonna cancel. 
minus four. So really I have six minus four. Simplify my numerator, six and four is 10, plus four square root six, all over divided by 10, six divided minus four is two. And again, reduce by two gives me five, by two gives me two, this cancels, so five plus two square root six. I'm gonna save this one for an in-class example. I'm also gonna save the word problem below as an in-class. Okay. But we can do this one. Square root of eight minus square root of three divided by four square root of three minus square root of two. This here can be simplified before we even begin. Square root of eight is two root two. So I have two square root two minus square root three all over four square root three minus square root two. I'm gonna multiply by the conjugate which is gonna be four square root three plus square root two all over four or all under square root three plus square root two. Do your bombing or foil or distributive property, whatever you wanna call it. Two square root two times four square root three is eight square root six. 2 square root 2 times square root 2 square root 2 is going to be 2 square root 4 My, minus square root 3 times 4 square root 3 is going to be minus 4 square root 9 minus square root 3 times minus or times root 2 is minus square root 6 all over 4 root 3 times 4 root 3 is 16 square root 9. 4 root 3 times root 2 is 4, is, sorry, is plus, plus 4 square root 6. Minus root 2 times root 4 root 3 is minus 4 root 6. Minus root 2 times positive root 2 is minus square root 4. Ooh, lots of simplifying to happen here. What can I simplify? Well, in the numerator, I can take my eight. Let's make that. Yeah, that's okay. What's that do? Oh, I don't want that. Oh yeah. Eight root six minus root six, seven square root six. Two square root four is two times three because the square root four is two. So that's gonna be plus six. Four square root nine is two times the square root of nine, which is three. So that's, sorry, four times the square root of nine, which is three. So that's 12 minus 12 minus square root six. Oh no, square root six we dealt with. Divided by 16 square root nine, 16 square root nine is 16 times three, which is 48. Plus four root six, minus four root six, these will cancel. Minus square root four is minus two, minus two. So we have seven root six plus six minus 12 is seven root six minus six, all over 48 minus two is 46. If all the coefficients don't simplify, then we do not cancel or simplify anything. I did though realize that I made a mistake. Two square root four, square root four is two, two times two is four, so this should be four. So let's fix that, that should be a four. Or take away 12 is eight. So this should be an eight. Eight. Now we're done. Okay. So with those two other examples being left to do in class, 
Uh, make sure you check Scalantis for the questions that are suggested activity work. Uh, and we will see you next time.